right? I just took a, what scheduled to be a, an hour and a half bus ride. Didn't see, quite seem that long. And I uh, bought this uh, Lada. It's a 2101. It's a 1972. Came with the insurance documents and a, a, a card. Comes with a card. You didn't have to study. Didn't have to sign anything over. It needs a relay for the left uh, headlight, but the right one works. The turn signals works. Brakes feel good. Um, put twenty dollars worth of uh, gas in it, and it went up to almost half. So I'm going to take it slow because uh, the banks all of a sudden uh, couldn't get any money out of their account. So I want to get it back to uh, the hotel and uh, calls it China. So we'll go back out to the main road from this little village and uh, and then I'll take a right. So you go back, uh, I think it's kind of a, like a southwest. If I go left, it'll go to Paltava, which is kind of northeast. So to the left to be south uh, east. And beautiful country out here. I'm gonna get out up here and uh, take a little look around the car just for the video. Get that back. It's a four-speed. It's not too bad inside here. It's a trunk in there and everything. So it seems like everything's not heating up or anything. I've, I stopped it to adjust the mirror there and uh, the seat's a little floppy here, but oh God. There's a little uh, work here. Trunk's empty, underside looks good, I crawled under there. A lot of 2101. Girl in the back here. I'm a girl bent over. Like it's kind of hard to see. So I'm sure I'm in here. I don't know what button it is. There's windshield wipers. There's lights. You have to figure it. Oh, that's a choke. Cigarette lighter. Oh, here. So that's a little inline four cylinder. Looks pretty clean. It says it doesn't need oil, so you know, I was running low on money. So it's only about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I got plenty of time to get back. It's 2013. Plenty of time to get back to. Uh, the motel before it gets dark. You only have one light. Turn signals work. And uh, back lights work. The steering's tight, the gearbox is tight, brakes work good, gas uh, pedal works good, clutch works good. Uh, he had that heater on and stuff, so that's right there, that button. I'm not quite sure what these little switches are right there, but we'll find that out soon enough. Uh, the ashtray has, has some like fuses and stuff in it. Uh, Good shape inside. A little bit of rip up, up top there, but okay. Now at this uh, major uh, road here, which is like M22 or E55, kind of dual road. Now I'll take a right, and it goes right into uh, right into Kremenchug. I don't know where I'm at from there. Actually, it'll be the uh, south side of Kremenchug. Okay, turn signals are working. That says Boda right there. That I get the, the temperature. Okay, it's this road all the way into Kremenchug. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many miles it would be. I'm going to take it slow because I only got a half tank left in my freaking bank account. Uh, the credit cards and stuff. I got money out for this uh, car yesterday. I started taking money out. And I was going to take some more out today for insurance or any other money I need. And ended up, uh, I couldn't get any money out at all. So crossing my fingers until I get back to the motel and, uh, and get on the internet and figure out what's going on here with the credit cards because everything's kind of locked up. I got a debit card with $100 so uh, that should work if I give it to the motel uh, early here to make sure they get some money out until I get this stuff straightened out. 
Okay, here's another road here where the bus came out to the right. After it got off this road to the left, coming up uh, this way, and then it went in through there, came out here, down further. So I'm going to turn off the camera here. Fields and countryside, really beautiful area. I'd rather be living out here than the uh, hotel you know, there where a bunch of drunks are driving back or walking back and forth making noise. It's waking me up at night. All right, signing off for now. We'll turn on a little bit when we get to back to uh, Premichug. All right, I just passed a sign about, jeez, it was a while back. It said Premichug 13 kilometers. So we're just about to Premichug now. Everything's running smoothly, hardly using any gas. Came, maybe came down just a little bit. And the, uh, the Voda, the uh, water temperature, uh, looks good over here. Take it pretty easy, it's four past me. But I'm uh, keeping up with the traffic for the most part. I've been following this car up here with a trailer for a while. So he's been going to reasonable speed. Other people with newer cars have been going a little faster. The speedometer doesn't work, so that's one of the things I'm gonna have to get uh, fixed. Uh, that uh, wind, window wind-up thing that's there, but this falls off, so I'm going to have to secure that. Some wires here, uh, I think that's just auxiliary stuff. Uh, and looks like we're getting closer to Premichau. You can see this little uh, mural in the back here, a girl kind of bending over, a little muscle-bound girl, really. You can see that get a better picture of it later. So it looks like a main bridge here coming in the Truck. This is uh, Key to the right. And a bunch of other towns to the left and stuff. Truck, five kilometers. That sign says on the top. Traveling the slow lane. Uh, I'll turn it off for now. Okay, here's the railway uh, thing. I don't know if that one's the one that goes into, uh, I don't think that's the one that goes into um, the train station, but uh, also uh, this will be the road E5 that I'll go north on if I want to keep my appointments at the Kharkiv uh, uh, Kark um, Hotel Reservation. I'll go the opposite way if I want to go to Czech Republic. I haven't decided yet, and I did sign up for another week at another motel. It's a little bit cheaper, and uh, has air conditioning and whatnot, so maybe I'll stick around and keep that reservation, maybe just shorten it up to just a little bit, uh, so I can uh, you know, have a mechanic look at this thing and just go over it and, and do some work on it myself and clean it up, make sure I have enough uh, money and everything, see how everything works out. So we're getting we're five, we're less than five kilometers away from Kremenchuk. Starting to see it right there. Over there. And a lot of it over there. I think that's the direction I want to go there for the motel. hotel. Too hard, it kind of came right around, but I know where that's a train station right there, Boxel. And uh, we'll come up on the bus stations and basically the main street here that I've been walking up and down, and the bus stations over in there, a couple blocks that I, I took and it came out the train station and went out that way that I just came in. So I'm, I'm good to go, I'm good, I'm here. Probably about maybe eight blocks away from the Hotel. Uh, exit 
here. street and take a right so it's right at the hotel instead of taking the right before that and, and going down because some of these streets are being worked on okay that's green now it's yellow strong there we go go I'll put the camera down camera off. 